Go ahead. Okay, welcome to Clean Needle Technique kit preparation. So, first thing to do is make sure you have all your supplies. You have your kit box, your needles, your sharps container, uh, alcohol swabs, cotton balls, paper towels, gauze, gloves, um, Purell, um, and you're going to need gallon size Ziploc bags, at least five, and uh, quart size, at least three, but we're going to use six the first time. I'm going to do this twice, so you have two opportunities to watch me do it. Maybe watch me the first time, put your kit together the second time. Um, your kit does not have to be this formal. This happens to be a vena puncture travel kit. Um, certainly you're welcome to use, you know, any other kit that's hard sided with a good lock. The problem I have with these is when they set up, they tend to fall over. So make sure whatever you use uh, will stand up during your exam. Okay, my hands have been washed. My table is clean. I have all my supplies. All right. Um, I'm going to open my kit. All right, and inside we're going to put the Purell. It does not need to be in a bag. And your hemostats are tweezers, and they don't have to be hemostats, they can be tweezers. Then you're going to put your sharps container with a lid on in your bag. And if you want to label these bags as to what they are, that's fine, but not required. And that goes in my kit. And then I need my trash bag. Now my trash bag, if it's a plain paper bag, needs to have a liner as well as the um, outside bag. If you use a um, lined bag, like uh, from a pastry shop, then you only need an outside bag. So I'm going to put my, what will become my liner inside my trash bag. And then the outside one. You don't have to buy a thousand Ziploc bags like I have here. You can just buy them at your local grocery store. Um, I just go through so many of these, we buy them in bulk. And for the test, that's fine, it goes in here. Now I'm going to start doing my clean things. So I'm going to wash my hands again, um, just to make sure my hands are clean when I touch things like cotton balls. All right, and this is where there are some differences, you have your choice. We're going to need six things in our clean bag. We need sufficient alcohol wipes, that's one. We need a couple of gauze that you probably never use, but they need to be in your bag anyway. You need gloves, and at least two or three. So these are clean, not sterile. They just come from your regular medical glo uh, gloves bag, that's three. We need cotton balls. So this is an unopened bag, which I'm now going to open. And again, my hands were clean, so I can grab these cotton balls and put them in the bag. That's four. Now I need needles. And you want Make sure you have sufficient number. I'm using sarins. There's no requirement to use sarins. These are my inch and a half. And my one inch. So that's five. Anyone notice what we're missing? We're missing our clean fields. So I have here tri-fold towels. A new bag. I'm going to get rid of the top one because that could be dirty and then take five or six of these. You can use regular paper towels, you could use chucks, you could use whatever you like for your clean fields. Make sure they fit in the bag. And then I'm going to take a gallon bag here and that's going to be for all my clean things. So again remember six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that's my clean bag and that goes in there and the lid goes on and I'm ready to take my CMT exam. Now the next time I'm going to show you a variation. So let me get my second kit. Sorry about my back. We'll open that up. Get ready to go. And again, 
Purell goes in, hemostats or tweezers go in. I need to put my sharps container in a gallon bag because the needles won't stay in the sharps container completely if that gets knocked around in my car. So I need to make sure I keep track of all my needles. And again, my trash bag, one on the inside. And why it needs to be lined is because mostly what we're throwing out is alcohol swaps, which are wet, so they would soak right through a regular paper bag. And one on the outside. Now, for the CNT exam, any item in the clean bag that's already wrapped does not need a separate wrapper. So I can choose put my gauze, my alcohol swabs, and my needles just loose in the bag. That is considered acceptable because they're already pre-wrapped. I still do need, I'm going to put that in here, I still do need to separately wrap my cotton balls. My gloves. Now, if you had a small package of gloves that only had a few gloves in them, pre-packaged, you wouldn't have to put them in a separate bag. And same thing if you use professional clean fields or chucks, you would not need to separately wrap up them as well. But again, it's going to determine, the determination is whether they're already wrapped separately or whether you need to wrap them to keep them uh, clean in your clean bag. There's my six items. Everyone remembers what they are. Clean fields, uh, cotton balls, alcohol swabs, and needles, which you'll use during your test. Gloves and gauze, which you probably won't use during your test. Wrap that up. Put on the lid. And that's an acceptable CNT kit as well. Thank you for watching.